Flav City family, what is up? I am about to enter Panda Express and continue the theme of fast food reviews. Wish me luck, knock on wood, this one's gonna be tough because the stuff in Panda Express is not pretty. They use a lot of sugar, a lot of flavor enhancers. And one thing is interesting about Panda, it'll say inside they don't use MSG. Stick around a couple minutes and I'll tell you why that might be slightly controversial. But the good news is, we are gonna find something for you to get that is slightly healthy-ish at Panda Express. So less talking, more eating, let's go do our thing. We have successfully ordered everything from Panda Express. We gotta start with the granddaddy of them all. Check it out, Brad. Original orange chicken. Raise your hand if you were guilty of eating this back in the day. Brad, right? Of course. Of course, right? It's crispy, it's buttery, it's sweet. I mean, this is everything your taste buds crave and more. Let's grab a piece of this crispy chicken here. Oh yeah, babe. Oh, come on. My taste buds are parting right now. Super crispy, sweet, touch of um, chili there. It's really, really nice. But we gotta break out the notes here. So we'll start with something interesting. The amount of sugar maybe in the orange chicken could be the highest on the menu. Why? Put this tossed in that orange sweet sauce in one serving of orange chicken there's 19 grams of sugar i will give them some credit it's actual cane sugar they're not using high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup so that's kind of impressing but 19 grams of sugar my friends is just about just shy of five teaspoons so imagine five white teaspoons of sugar in here to me that's a little high that's like orange chicken with the side of type 2 diabetes just a little high right but when brad and i were doing research for this video there's an asterisk on a lot of these ingredients or dishes that says this dish uses a proprietary batter and sauce. And it basically says, we ain't gonna tell you everything that's in there, but it has something like wheat flour, eggs, spices, and the sauce has something like water and sugar and soy sauce. But what are the other ingredients, right? It could be flavor enhancers I'm gonna show you later on. So I wish I knew the other secret sauce ingredients. And does anyone else think it's criminal that they don't have to list the ingredients? I know some places like Burger King don't put the ingredients. Shake Shack don't put the ingredients. There's nothing proprietary about your orange chicken sauce. I'm not gonna go rip it off and make my own Bobby's version at home. So don't worry about it. So that's a little concerning. But to me, what I see the most concerning part is the sugar at 19 grams. But man, the amount of sugar in there, for me, it's a little too much, but it is really, really tasty. But I would just say no to that one. Fried rice. I love fried rice. I have multiple recipes for fried rice in our new cookbook. I have wild rice fried rice. I have keto cauliflower fried rice. And I love it because of the specks of soft scrambled eggs and the vegetables. Mmm, they cook a good rice there. Short grain rice. Fluffy, not too wet and soggy. Mm. The flavor is actually really good as I spill it all over myself. The thing is, I was a little shocked to see this. If I break out my notes here, you normally wouldn't see journalist Bobby have that many red highlighter or yellow highlighters on a fried rice. But if we look here, I'm to be honest, for fast food, I'm 100% fine with almost every ingredient in there. But you know when you go inside of... Um, Panda Express and you see on the little, uh, the window there, no MSG. Well, my friends, look at two ingredients here under the fried rice. Disodium enosinate and disodium guayanulate. The only reason why I know those are other forms of MSG is because I've seen them at other uh, fast food joints and I've done the research. So sure, they're not using the monosodium glutamate, right? The MSG, but they are using another form of MSG called disodium enosinate or disodium guayanulate. They're putting that in fried rice. Fried rice is delicious on its own. The thing about these things, they're called excitogens. Their main job is to excite your taste buds, send the signal to your brain saying, this is good, I wanna eat more. So yes, they're technically not using MSG, but they're using its cousin in the form of those two things. So I would say no to that. You're gonna to wanna to stick with the plain white rice or brown rice, but I'll tell you why there's one surprise ingredient in there in a second. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, before I go on to a main dish here, maybe the chow mein, uh, let's give a shout out to my boys over at Seed. They're consistently uh, mentioned in these fast food review videos because if you're eating this kind of food, you probably need a little help when it comes to gut health. And to be honest, everyone needs some help because your gut health and your microbiome, in my opinion, is the backbone to your health. The thing is, 
I've done extensive research on this. Most probiotics on the market are overpriced and a waste of money because they die in your stomach. The stomach acids kill the living bacteria. The cool thing about seed is that there's two capsules in one. The outer capsule is the one that only dissolves in your tummy. And because that outer capsule is made of pomegranates, it's high in fiber. What are foods high in fiber? They're prebiotics. So it's a prebiotic. Then the inner capsule that has the 24 strains of bacteria actually makes it through your intestine to your colon and can deliver the 24 strains of living bacteria that are not just good for gut health, not just good for bowel movements if you need help like that. It's also good for immune system, skin, and many more things. It's a game changer and it's actually a symbiotic because it's a probiotic, prebiotic. I take this every day. Every family member and friend I've turned on to this has totally loved it. When you use my promo link in the description box, you get 15% off your first month's supply. It ships around the world, which is great, and it's 30 days risk-free, so if you don't love it, you can always cancel and get your money back. Uh, there is a little bit of a wait now because I've been talking about it so much. Uh, it's like a two to three or four week window to get it, but I heard they're shipping quicker. Try this out, it's completely risk-free. There's no other probiotic, in my opinion, on the market like seed. So try that out using my link down below. Let's go for this. This could be one of the healthier protein options on the menu. This is just the teriyaki chicken. And I gotta give him credit. Look at the color on this bread. I would call dibs on that piece every day. I love the color from the uh, marinade when it gets caramelized. And this is actually one of the healthier options. Mmm, wow. That's a nice piece of chicken thigh. Mmm. I need to cleanse my palate here with a little spin drift. Props to Panda Express, they're using chicken thighs. Chicken breast would never have that texture. And to be honest, there's chicken thighs, there's a little bit of sugar in there, soy sauce, soybean oil, but there's none of those flavor enhancers, none of those other names for MSG. The uh, sugar isn't as high as other options, and there's no nasty preservative. So grilled chicken would probably be my go-to main and then I'll tell you which rice to pair it with in a second, but we gotta go with this. Beijing beef. I don't know, Brad, look at that. It almost looks like Beijing fried chicken feet. It doesn't look like the most appealing thing, right? It does, it looks like those chicken feet that are deep fried. Beijing beef has some, looks like Napa cabbage in there. Super fried, oh man, super fried, coated in that sauce. To be honest, that could be a, a leather shoe. And I wouldn't know, it's coated in so much batter and so much sweet sauce. That is cloyingly sweet. Hold on, spin drift. Ooh. It could honestly be anything battered and fried and I wouldn't know. That, that is not good in my opinion. And not good also is, I misspoke earlier. I said that the orange chicken had the most sugar on the menu. I'm sorry, it's now been beat by the Beijing beef which comes in at a whopping 24 grams of sugar. Luckily, well, it's sugar and high fructose corn syrup, so it's both. That is six teaspoons of sugar. In here, I'm sorry, if I ate another piece, my taste buds would be blown out of the water. That is insane. But unlike the orange chicken, they do have a bunch of nasty ingredients and flavor enhancers in here in the form of sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate, two very nasty preservatives you only normally see in cheap lunch meat and cheap bacon. Bradley's favorite, Yellow number five and red number 40, oh, right? That. Banned in other countries, but we do it here because the FDA uh, generally regards it as safe, but as we're learning, generally regarded as safe is only the company's job to hire their own scientists to determine if it's safe and the FDA doesn't even care or have to enforce it. So of course they're gonna say it's safe because it's better for their bottom line. Hydrolyzed soy protein and corn, pro corn protein, big flavor enhancers. Uh, and carrageenan in there, the very uh, inflammatory emulsifier that's really bad for your gut. Just say no to the Beijing beef. Stick with the teriyaki chicken if you need a little more excitement in your life. Orange chicken is a better option than the Beijing beef. That's no good. So what I would do, once again, is get my yummy, yummy chicken thigh teriyakis, and then you have two options. You have white rice, which I say never to eat because what is white rice? White rice, my friends, is just brown rice that's been stripped of the bran, the hull, and the fiber. So white rice, in my opinion, is dead food. There's zero nutrition. This at least has the complex carbohydrate still intact. My only question, man, they make good rice there. Mmm, short grain, 
slightly al dente. That's really nice. If you brought this kind of rice home to make fried rice with, it'd be bomb.com because fried rice is best made with leftover rice that's a little dry. That is good rice. The problem is, if I look at my notes here, can Panda Express explain to me why the steamed brown rice has soybean oil in there, but the white rice is just white rice with no oil? I don't know if they have to put that to help it cook and stay separated, right? I gotta keep them separated. I don't know, but it's probably a touch of soybean oil. I'd rather you get the complex carbohydrate over the simple carbohydrate. So brown rice, chicken teriyaki, right? Just like uh, Larry David and Curb, chicken teriyaki boy. I would be chicken teriyaki boy. This is my go-to meal if I had to eat at um, Panda Express, but we're not done. Chow mein, right, Brad? Look at that. Noodles, vegetables. That looks good. I don't think I've ever actually had a chow mein in my life. I might as well start with the best, right? Mmm. That is really tasty. It's cooked in cottonseed oil, one of the most processed agricultural GMO oils around. It's got the caramel coloring for the um, color of the noodles, but it has ingredients that I normally see in cheap bread. Monoglycerides is a derivative of trans fatty acids. That's a preservative. And datum is usually made for bread to help the bread rise quicker. And then there's yellow number five, yellow number six, potassium carbonate's fine. Bad news. Unfortunately, the best bread, the best chow mein in my life, which is the first one, is also the most toxic one. So just say no to that. Uh, then we'll go to this guy right here. This is the super greens, right? Super greens. What is on the, wow, look at this. What is bread? Damn, they gave me a, a quarter of a cabbage here. Holy cow, are they kidding me? I thought it was a dumpling at first. I don't want that cabbage. Get it on gotta it. Reset your gut up. Yeah, right? So super greens is basically just a ton of broccoli, some shredded cabbage, and a quarter cabbage here. Okay, that's super greens? To be honest, the seasoning is pretty weak, which is a little odd because would you expect there to be MSG and steamed super greens? Well, the policy, of course, is not to have MSG, but it has that dastardly flavor enhancer called disodium inosinate and disodium guanulate. The thing is, those are bland as can be. They're hijacking my taste buds and they're not even putting enough. If you're gonna poison me, just put some extra poison in there, you guys. That's crazy. That's not good. So I don't know why they're adding that there. It doesn't even taste that good. That's a major no-no to that. And last but not least, I wanted to order uh, chicken pot stickers, and they said it hasn't been on the menu in quite some years. So I guess this was my backup, the chicken egg roll. Okay, chicken egg roll is not something I would get either. That's way too many ingredients for an egg roll. And my God, once again, we get the double dose of the MSG. We get yeast extract, we get the cottonseed oil. So no. I would not go for that. I was going to get the chicken pot sticker because that's the cleanest option. So my friends, not the best news here at Panda Express. I've just had a quadruple dose of MSG, which means I have to drink a ton of water and have a gut friendly meal tonight. Let me cleanse my palate here. So once again, go with the teriyaki chicken with the brown rice, get rid of the super greens. Uh, that's it. Where to next, right? Where should the fast food train roll into next? Subway? BK your way. Leave a comment down below. Let us know. We love making these videos for you. I love poisoning my body just for you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Spread that Flav City love from a very windy day here at Panda Express. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.